crafting the design or presentation part of your HTML pages, it's a good idea to have at least a basic idea of how things are put together. This foundation that I'm talking about is the CSS syntax. That's S-Y-N-T-A-X, not S-I-N-T-A-X. This video will lay the groundwork for you to more easily put together your own cascading style sheets or at least help you better understand other people's CSS files. A CSS syntax is the specific order or structure of the rules regarding a particular style or design you're wanting to add to certain parts of your web page. Now, each one of these rules consists of one or more selectors and a declaration block. Now hang with me, you'll begin to see how this all fits together here in just a second. Now a selector is the item that is being styled, kind of like the paragraph tag or the H1 tag. The declaration block is the actual style or design that is being put on that selector. The declaration block consists of a property and a value. And I've got a few demonstrations set up for you here. This is what's called an inline CSS. And here is the selector, that's the H2, and the P for the paragraph tag is the selector in this line. And here we have the declaration right here. Now this is a little bit different than that of an internal and an external CSS file in relation to the declaration. The declaration here is all this stuff right here. This has the attribute, the property, and the value. And with an inline style, there's no curly brackets. For example, and in this demonstration, we have both the inline CSS and we've got the internal CSS. And this better demonstrates the declaration block. By the way, the internal CSS is put in the head section in between the opening and closing style tags. And here's the selectors right here. And here's the declaration. And inside the declaration, we've got the curly brackets. That's the opening and closing curly brackets. Right there's the opening, right there's the closing. And inside here, we have the property and the value. Property and the value. Property and the value. And here's a, another representation of a declaration block. And this more resembles a block, if you will. And for the H3 selector, we've got multiple properties and multiple values for those properties. And what I'm trying to show here is that you can have multiple properties for a particular selector. Now you can also have a combination of multiple selectors and multiple properties. And that's what I'm showing here. Again, in an internal style sheet, we have the selector and we've got the declaration. Inside the declaration, we've got the property and the value. And here is a demonstration of a grouping, and that is we've got several selectors with multiple declarations. Again, property, value, property, value. Now you can have the same type of grouping in an inline, but in the declaration here they have to be separated by the semicolon. That's called the declaration separator. I call it a semicolon, but you know, tomato, tomato. So if I wanted in my paragraph here, if I wanted this content in the paragraph to be not just with a green background color, but also I wanted the text to be a certain font family or font size, then I can also list that in here. Again, so long as I've got a declaration separator or a semicolon in between the two. So to recap, the CSS syntax is the structure of the rules regarding your CSS layout. You have the selectors, and you have the declarations. The declarations contain two things, the properties and the values of those properties. And don't forget you can also group those things together. This brings to an end this video on the CSS syntax. Thanks for watching and you have a great day.